Tara Grant was a woman from the suburbs of Detroit. Uh, she was married. She was a mom uh, and she went missing. And it was shocking because everyday moms just don't go missing in very safe communities like Macomb County. And uh, people uh, started wondering what happened to her. And uh, the first thing they did was look at the husband and uh, the husband came out and said, look, we, we need your help to, to help find her. And he was very vocal. He went on TV all the time trying to help solve this missing person case. But it turned out he was the person that killed her and he killed her violently. He chopped her body up in his dad's uh, shop and distributed her body into the woods at night while her kids were sleeping in the house and then brought part of the torso back to the garage to hide it because he thought they would be found uh, out in the woods. And so eventually uh, police became more and more suspicious of him. And uh, they came to confront him with a search warrant to check his house because they now felt he was the key suspect and he let them into the house and he took the dog for a walk and he disappeared. <laughs> there were police everywhere executing the search warrant and they find the body in there and they're like, where did Stephen Grant go? And he's gone. He literally walked the dog around the block and jumped in a neighbor's car and took off. And uh, they uh, couldn't find him. There was a manhunt uh, for about a day and a half. And it turned out I was working that part of the case. A, a police officer source of mine said, uh, hey, he did hanged his phone from the Lansing area. So I raced up to the Lansing area. And uh, by the time I got there, uh, this first told me, no, he's still going up north. He just pinged again uh, up closer to the Mackinac Bridge. So I was ahead of uh, all the other media in pursuit of this. And uh, and my guy said, look, he's, he's there. He's by the Mackinac Bridge somewhere. And so police were also in pursuit of him. And eventually there was a massive manhunt and they found him, Stephen Grant, hiding under a tree. He had said he was going to kill himself for what he had done. But uh, really, he was just hiding in an area he was familiar with because he had vacationed there as a kid. So he was arrested and ultimately charged and he's in prison now. Uh, but it was a wild case because he was on the news every day. Uh, could not have been, you know, just more look into the camera and say, we need your help to find uh, my wife. And uh, and it turned out he had killed her in a brutal way. I've been covering crime in Detroit for 25 years. And this was a case that just completely stood out because it was so unexpected and so unexpectedly gruesome that just an average guy in the suburbs in a safe community would would kill his wife. Okay. That happens. But to take her body to his dad's workshop and cut up the body into parts so that he could try and hide the body and to take it back to the park where he takes his kids and plays with and hide their mo mother's body in parts of the woods. And then to just suddenly disappear when police show up to uh, execute a search warrant because he's now a suspect and he's able to escape. And, 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 and so there was just a massive amount of media coverage, a massive amount of interest in this because it was so unexpected. This was just your typical family from the suburbs. And it turned into one of the biggest crimes we ended up covering. So while the story is going on, you're, you're chasing every lead. You're trying to cover the story as best you can. And you have different leads and, and you race off to investigate them. Uh, but when a really good source who you know has good information contacts you and says, hey, he's on the run. We think we know where he is. Um, go, go ahead. You'll be the only reporter who's there when they, when they capture him. And you're, in this case, driving four hours up to northern Michigan down I-75 and in your mind, you're thinking, my gosh, you know, it's a big story, but wow, this, this woman was killed. There's, their daughter doesn't have a mother anymore. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're out here searching through the woods for this guy. He may be dangerous. You don't know, um, but you're, you're there. You're trying to cover the story. And at the same time, trying to be compassionate to the audience that you're telling the story to, because it's very traumatic for the family, of course, the people who know her, but even just the general audience, it's, it's very traumatic for them when there's a case like this. People feel like, wow, this, this could happen to me.